Thanks a lot, Claudio Iampaglia, for being with us and um, accepted to be interviewed uh, for this project, the Pages project. Uh, we are consulting you as an expert uh, and as a person, as a journalist who work uh, on a cross-media uh, field. So basically, since the aim of uh, this EU um, project is to build a cross-media um, journalist master in uh, Libyan universities, in four Libyan universities, we would like to know from you which are the main knowledge um, you should have today for working in the journalistic field and which would be in, uh, say, 10 years' time, put it in this way, like a, a, a predictable <laughs> idea. First of all, the, thanks so much. There are something that doesn't don't change in any times. So first of, of all, you need to be passionate of people, passionate of uh, hearing, passionate of studying, curious. Uh, uh, also, when you think that your ideas are the right one, maybe you have to be more curious at that moment because there are some other ideas around you. And these are obviously all the things that you can learn, but you need to feel, first of all. What you can uh, learn and what you need, uh, you can learn to be a good journalist, uh, and that's uh, for that reason there are wonderful, important teachers in schools. Uh, but I think that uh, you need also um, you need also today to understand which is the connection between new media, uh, old media, multimedia channel, and trying to understand which is the cross language, which are the differences the deepness, the, the possibility to use them uh, in different ways, and maybe some time together. That will be very my passion. My best passion will be to use them together. Okay, thanks a lot. So, um, basically, you already uh, answered, but which are the, the key words you would uh, put on the table uh, in this moment, or say in another way, uh, which are the main contexts um, uh, in a multimedia journalistic field at the moment? So, one of the most important things, in my opinion, is what is the relation between words and images. That's uh, the point. Because you could be a real good professional, ethical also journalist, you could be a, also a good cameraman or video editor and so, but the mixing of the two things needs something more. Because you are creating a language that is a mix of words and uh, videos and images. Uh, because it's not only videos, also photographs are the same things. Uh, uh, web, the uses of web images sometimes is not video, it's not photograph, it's something more different and more, and we are going to know them more and more in the next years. So, uh, think about that there is not a so kind of clear uh, deontology um, better, identology exists, kind of idea of what is the magic formula, mm? the magic uh, received uh, for mixing words uh, and images. You have to find it and you have to work about it. You have always to ask yourself what's the meaning if that kind of image or that kind of words uh, is something that you are making for you, for your pleasure, because it's a wonderful word, it's a wonderful image, or who are you talking about with uh, uh, or you make it for the public, the people in stand of you, uh, where, would, where, where it was done, uh, where it's born, uh, how is it used, uh, and all the questions that you need. Double words, images, and against another time, together. So put it in this way, again, I'm using your expertise to ask you if you um, uh, were um, thinking about uh, some, uh, say, unavoidable subject matters for, uh, uh, for uh, designing a master course, what would be suggest? A, a one? No, as many as you like. <laughs> a sort of title or a sort of... Uh... In a, in so, in cross-media field, I will be sure that you are able to write uh, um, a news for an agency, very traditional, very old style, 
10 lines what is the news. Second, you know what is the power of a title. Third, you are able to give uh, a perfect uh, lecture of uh, each images uh, of a war, of a poor people, of a power people, of a very conflict land. So working about meaning of images. And uh, what about the mixing of all these kind of things? Maybe I will propose a seminar with a real concrete subject uh, that could be also the square downtown here. We don't need to go in where. We can do it on the square exactly nearby the university and to work uh, three days uh, about uh, what is going on in that square. I suppose that if we are working with uh, audio, camera and words uh, and we are trying to put it all together, I will make a seminar like this. So basically, I'm asking you another question that uh, has been already discussed during um, a roundtable uh, today. That is, um, if you, in your experience, have you um, seen that there were a growing importance of uh, using images in, uh, in your um, job? And also, uh, say, like the tension between uh, written words and images when you... Um, thinking or uh, when you are uh, creating a, a news for uh, dif also for different media. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So uh, a lot of things changed. When I started working on a newspaper, we had the classical uh, tabloid formats and uh, photos sometimes were fooling. What do we need to fool? Put a photo. Um, Perfect. Uh, then I worked in a magazine that was very cured about photography, uh, news photography, very cured. It was really built with an idea that reportages and news and words and, and big images, like the big magazine of the tradition, uh, I don't know how we can call it in, a, in an international newspaper, New Yorker maybe, sometimes New Yorker, see, sí, New Yorker could be. Uh, so a lot of words, but also a lot of important photographs. Then I started to work with videos, uh, better, with documentaries, that quite different. And then with web documentaries, that is uh, more different than again. So the images are really more and more important. Each media have a way to treat them and a history to treat them. We don't have uh, exactly a new language, in my opinion. Uh, we have a sort of uh, transition. And this kind of transition, unfortunately, the commercial images is winning because it has value. And sometimes the um, editorial and, and uh, journalistic images doesn't have so much value. For giving you an example, in Italy, a photos on a newspaper is paid something like 12 euros. Sometimes uh, also an article is paid 12 or less euros. So values, a single, the single values of the first item, the photo, the article, is not so much. Mm. Uh, so sometimes images are more evaluate um, ev ev the evolution of images is going on with the commercial part in our work in my opinion what we need to do is to give uh, to the images the same uh, uh, respect uh, identity uh, reflection and work that we give to words exactly the same on words is obvious when uh, in my radio i have to make the news my four Lines uh, news is very could be very heavy. Each word must be perfect. So why don't you uh, question yourself about the images that already in this time you are putting them, or because it's cute or fooling something, and you don't reflect about the sense, the meaning, and his crossing signification with words, with context, with the culture, and so on. Thanks so much, Claudio Iampaglia, for this interview.